Hello and festive greetings and a warm welcome to you to Keyboard Skills Pro. In this music lesson we're going to learn how to play a jazzy, jazzy version of Jingle Bells on the piano. Now Jingle Bells is a perennial favourite, it's got lots of fun things to it. It's a really easy song for beginners as well, but I'm going to show you in this one how to do some really easy jazzy chords on your left hand with just using three fingers only. This is going to be really cool, hope you're going to enjoy it. Let's head over to the keys now and I'll play you through the arrangement and then we'll break it down and show you how to do it. Let's go. Well, jazzy, jazzy jingle bells it is, folks. My name's Tom, welcome to the YouTube channel once again, and uh, do check out my website and social media platforms, and if you're enjoying this video um, in this short space of time, please do hit the subscribe button and ding the bell so you know when we upload new videos or go live. Now, there is actually a bonus PDF available for this particular uh, piano lesson, so if you'd like to grab hold of that, you just need to sign up for Silver Level or above on my Patreon channel, patreon.com forward slash keyboard skills pro where you'll also get access to bonus videos lots of pdfs and extra goodies not available anywhere else okay so um i'm going to give you the first line of the music on the screen just to give you the idea and then i'm going to talk you through the whole arrangement bit by bit um, but like i say if you'd like to get the written out music for this um just simply visit patreon.com so thank you so much in advance for your support well it's freezing in here in my studio so <laughs> Hopefully my fingers will work. <laughs> All right, well, let's try the first line of the tune. So we're in the key of C. Um, so we're starting on E, and we're going to go jingle bells, jingle bells, and then E, G, C, D, E, a two, three, four. So that's nice and easy. Um, now, um, if you um, are trying to learn this by ear, basically there are four beats in each bar for Jingle Bells, four counts. So we go one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, hold for all four. Okay, so that's your main theme for the first four bars. Now, we're then going to use, as I said in the introduction, a very, uh, I think, simple way of making this song sound really good. Um, it's going to sound nice and jazzy. Do you know, folks, I've just looked out the window. We're early December here in England, and it's grey and miserable and cold and wet. <laughs> All the things that make Britain really... Really nice, I suppose. I know our American friends can't get used to it, but over here on the side of my studio, I've got a lovely... Um, a heater, a lovely oil-filled radiator that I've just installed. And that's keeping me a bit toastier, but um, anyway, there we are. So the, these chords, um, well, I digress as I do in my lessons. Um, these chords um, are nice and simple. So, so in the key of C, there are basically three what we call primary chords. So you've got the C major chord, which is made up of C, E, and G. We've got the F major chord, which is F, A, C. And we've got the G chord, which is G, B, D. Now those three chords, you can use those to play Jingle Bells. Okay, F with the F chord, C chord, sometimes borrowing the notes like that. But so those are, those are pretty simple major chords. Now we're gonna use something a lot jazzier. And we're gonna include an extra note from the scale of C, and we're gonna put this in on each chord. And it works the same every single time. So let's look at the pattern of the C chords. Let's actually see how do the C chords actually work. So we go first note, C, miss the second, play the third, miss the fourth, play the fifth. Okay, and that's what makes up a major chord. This particular major chord is in what we call root position. And that just simply means that the, the, the letter of the lowest note, C, is the same as the chord note, C major. That's how we know it's a root chord, the C's at the bottom. Now, if I then carry on that pattern, play, miss, play, miss, play, miss, play, I then add in a seventh. And that's specifically called a major seventh. Now, if I then take out the third, I can use these three fingers. 
my little finger, finger five, my second finger, finger two, and my thumb, finger one. And that then creates a slightly more interesting sounding chord, C major seven. Now, you might say there's a little clash going on there, and that's because we've got a seventh. But when we put the melody in, have a listen to it. Oh yeah, now it's getting mulled wine, very jazzy. Okay, listen to the difference. So plain C chord, slightly jazzy chord. So that's C major seven. But look what happens then when I lift up the chord, go one to the right. Aha, now we've got D, A, C. Now this is called D minor seven. And for those of you who are watching the, the playthrough at the beginning, my hand was going up and down like this. So this is the shape that we've got to learn. Five, two, one, C major seven. If I move to D, the D note in C major produces a, a D minor chord. But now we've got D minor seven. And if I move it up again, we've got E minor seven. Okay, so that's the shape that we're gonna use all the way through. Okay, so let's look at the chord symbols at the bottom, I'm sorry, above the music, I should say. Um, and uh, these are what we're playing on the left hand. These, This is a summary. So what you have to do is you have to learn these chords with their matching chord symbols. So when you see them, boom, your left hand plays them nice and easily. Okay, so let's work through the first line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our chords set up, C, G, and B. It's the first, the fifth, and the seventh of the C scale. That's our, that's our building block pattern, okay? We're gonna play with E. The first two E's go with the C major chord. Jing, Gull, and then when I play bells, I just lift my chord up, and the whole lot moves up to D minor seven. Ooh, nice. Then I move it up again to E minor seven. Now we're getting a bit cozy here, but that's okay. Jing, Gull, lift up and back down. So the chords are going, Two beats each, three, four, a one, two, a three, four. Okay, so all together, jingle bells, just lifting the chord up a bit before. Then we do the next phrase, jingle, D minor. Now I can borrow the top note of the chord for the melody, all the, and then E with E minor seven. That's E minor seven, that chord. And then we're gonna lift up and go all the way down to A, down here, G, uh, sorry, E and G, that's A7. But you see, look, it's the same shape. Play, miss, don't play, miss, play, miss, play. First, fifth, and seventh. And we call it that because it's the first note, then five above, and then seven above that one, the root on top of that. So it's the fifth and the seventh, okay? so. C major seven, D minor seven, E minor seven, D minor seven, back to C major seven, D minor, and E minor down to A seven. Okay, now that's starting to sound pretty cool. Now, what you wanna do with your chords is practice those first. Now my hand is slightly stiffened with the muscles just to give me that shape, but I'm keeping it loose just enough to move around. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Jump to there. So a little space in between each one is a good idea because it just gives you the chance to lift up and move to that next position. One, two, three, and one, two, one, and. So don't hang on to the chord to the last minute because you have a, a, a sticky, difficult jump. So it's play, lift, play, lift. Almost like a little, it's like a little rest in between, I suppose we could call it. Okay, so that's the first line. And the cool thing is, it's also the third line of the arrangement. Because the third line of the arrangement is the same as the first line. Okay, so practice your chords, practice your melody, but it's basically two counts for each chord with 
each of the two counts of the melon. Yeah, so if you've got the bonus PDF on patreon.com, you'll be able to see um, how that all works. So that's sounding really good. So here we go, first section, one, two, a one, two, chord ready, and the melody here, two, three, four. Now what would that sound like if I put a little ryth a rhythm with it? Well, on my digital piano here, I've actually got some nice swing styles so we could hear it like this. Here we go. All right, so that's sounding pretty cool, I think, with a nice drummer and a bass there accompanying us. Okay, now the next line um, is full of really nice chords, okay? So um, here we've got um, the second section which goes F, 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 E, E, then two quick E's which are quavers, E, D, D, E, one, two, three, four. And you've got to make sure, very important there, look at the screen, look, there's the score. Um, with um, these, it's got lots of these crotchets on, you see, so you've got to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and. Okay, so you've got to make sure you count the Fs there. There's four Fs, and then another F starts the next one. Um, if you fancy this piece of music as a download, um, there is actually, I say, you can get this from Patreon, but if you, if you maybe just don't want to subscribe to Patreon, you just want to say, I just want to get this piece of music, you can actually buy this arrangement on Sheet Music plus.com or Sheet Music Direct, um, and that's available on there um, with some extra stuff um, as well. So um, yeah, so patreon.com, or if you just want to buy the score, um, visit one of the two Sheet Music websites where I've also got lots of other musical arrangements as well. Okay, so what are the chords we're gonna do here then? Well, we've just finished on A7. Jingle all the way. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, now D minor seven is our next one. We know that one, don't we? So we're gonna, again, two beats on each chord. Look, so we're gonna go da, da. Now, if I go up to F, G7, I'm gonna run into the melody. So I'm gonna go down to G7. So what I'm doing is I'm always looking at my little finger, looking for the next bass note. As long as I've got my shape and my fingers don't wander, okay, my fingers will always be in the right place. Look, so here we go. D minor seven, G seven, back to the C major seven, A seven. Now this is a fun one. Now that's clever because <laughs> the chord there is actually not D minor seven. That time it's become D dominant seventh. We label it as D seven on the music. Now, why has that happened? Well. Um, the way that the melody is playing influences a little bit about how you perceive the chord. Um, and so we can actually hear the F going in there with the first part of the melody. And then this bit, you're hearing an F sharp. But without the F sharp, you still hear it. Watch this, D minor seven, G seven, C major seven, A seven, and then you'll hear a D seven with an F sharp, but we're not gonna play the F sharp. And then down to G seven. Okay. I don't know if you notice sometimes that I'm um, uh, flicking the, the black note into the white note, and that, that gives a jazzier sound. It's called a grace note. Just occasionally. Gives it a little little flick, sounds quite nice. Okay, so the second section, the second line, we've got our hands set up, our first, our fifth, and our seventh. Here we go, one, two, three, four. D minor, again, look, I'm not holding it. One, two, jump, because you haven't got time. You've got to lift up a bit before the human ear listening will keep the sound going. One, two, three, four, C major, A seven, D seven, D7, G7, G. There we go. Okay, so one, two, three, and. One, and, two, and. Now, if there's one chord in the bar, still play the chord twice. Do, 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 do. Because it gives it a lot more momentum. 
Okay, so um, so let's just run through the first two lines all the way through with the rhythm. It's getting nice and toasty. Yes, indeed. Okay, so that sounds pretty jazzy, um, which is, I think, sounding really, really, really cool. Okay, um, now, what I'm also gonna do for you as a Christmas bonus is on Patreon, I'm gonna put on there for silver level players and above, um, I'm gonna put on there a, um, a backing track for this piece of music, just like you heard there. So you're gonna be able to play along, and I'm gonna give you a slow practice version and a fast practice version, okay, the full speed one. So watch out for that. That's gonna be very exciting on patreon.com forward slash keyboard skills pro. If you sign up for Silver Level, you get the, the backing track included with that level and the score. If you're not interested in supporting the channel for whatever reason, that's why you just want to do a one-off payment to get this score, sheetmusicplus.com or Sheet Music Direct, and you'll also find my music books on there as well. Very exciting. Okay, so the second part is a repeat. Here we go. Now the fourth and final line is exactly the same. Oh, fiddle dee dee except for one thing at the end. end we're not going to play the major seventh chord because that won't make it sound sort of finished so we're going to go back to our regular C chord and we're going to pop on the top an A that creates C6 or C major 6 and that's the finishing chord if you play the right notes of course and for my next drink C chord with an A, okay? So there we go, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a go using the major and minor seventh chords, one position, three notes in each chord. Really exciting. Download the music, everybody, and I sincerely hope you'll support these free music lessons and help my channel grow. Once again, do hit that subscribe button, and let's finish off with a final playthrough of Jingle Bells, and we'll see you in another festive video here on Keyboard Skills Pro over the Christmas period for 2023. Thanks a lot, enjoy, and bye-bye.